Happy Tutorial Channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in MS Word. But first, if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share this with your friends, classmates, or co-teachers. And please consider subscribing in my channel. So, like I said, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in MS Word. We'll be needing this especially when you're making modules, reports, books, or thesis. So, I have here a document that I downloaded from Wikipedia. It's a COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, this document is quite long. It is a nine-page document. See here, okay, so it's quite long and it would be hard for us to add a table of contents on our own. So, what is the easiest way of adding a table of contents? First, you need to add headings. If you notice, in this document, they have no headings. See? They have no headings. When you double-click, when you highlight a word, you'll see that they're using a normal style. What we need is a heading. Heading is... Here, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, or heading 4. Okay, so we'll have epidemiology as heading 1. And then background as heading 2. You have to highlight your word for you to add your heading. Cases as heading 2. Deaths as heading 2. Duration as heading 2. Signs and symptoms as heading 1, cause as heading 2, transmission as heading 3. Okay, I think we'll just stop right there. And the next thing we should do, we need to add a blank page on top of our document. So, how are we going to do that? Click on your, click on the right side of your first word and then click insert. In the insert tab, you'll find cover page here and the blank page. You can choose whether either of the two, but I'll have blank page. Okay, then click blank page. Click on the reference tab. And in the left side, you'll see the table of contents. Click on it. And then there are built-in table of contents. We have... Table 1 with contents only, Table 2, Table of Contents, then we have the manual table, and then you can also custom your Table of Contents. So, what we need now is Table of Contents, this automatic Table of 2, okay? And then presto, you can see I already have now my Table of Contents, but you see there are words here that are in bold letters and words that are not in bold. So, what we should do is need to highlight everything and then go to your home tab and click bold. Okay, so that's it. And then, let's see if the con table of contents or the pages are right. Okay, let's try this. Cause, this cause and transmission is in page 5. Okay, let's see if it's in page 5. Cause and transmission is in page 5. So, our table of contents is, they are in the right pages. So, I think they are in the right pages. Okay, let's say I add something here. Okay, let's say I add something here. Let's say a picture. I add a picture. Let's say this for pics. For whatever reason and let's make this picture bigger okay. as you notice the signs and symptoms is no longer in page 4 okay. signs and symptoms is now in page 5 but let's take a look at the table of contents if there is any changes signs and symptoms is still in page 4 there's nothing to worry. All you have to do is click update table here. And there's an option update page numbers only or update entire table. What we need now is update page numbers only. Okay, so just click on it. Click OK. Okay, and you'll see that the signs and symptoms 
page changes to page 5. Okay, what if I add another section here? Okay, so let's say I added the history. And that history, where is it? Okay, and this history should be in uh, heading 1, national response, heading 1 again. Okay, let's see if our table of contents changes. And as you can see, there is no history or national responses in our table of contents and again what we need to do is update our ta table click on the table and then update table but this time we're not going to update page numbers only what we need is update the entire table so click on it and then press ok and you can see now history and national responses is added in our table of contents you might also like to change its design okay we have here different designs the different themes it does not only changes the table of contents but it may also change your entire document let's have it here like this one okay you can choose whatever um, themes and designs you want okay so that's it pretty easy right thanks for watching i hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful and if you do please hit the like and share button and definitely do subscribe in my tutorial channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time i uploaded a video bella ciao